Today's podcast is brought to you by... Whoa, whoa, hold on. Wait a minute. We can't just go on like nothing has happened, okay? Listen, the last episode came out in June of 2018. It's October of 2023. It's been five years since anything has been published on this podcast feed. So what happened? You know what? Let's get to the book review. But then if you stick around to the end, I'll briefly share why I went silent after 73 episodes and what I have planned for this podcast. I'm excited about it. But for now, let's get this thing going again. I wrote new music for it too, so that's fun. All right, five years later, and we're back. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews. Episode 73, Into the Nanton, The Record of My Exile, by Jay Swanson. Oh man, (laughs) this book was so good, I don't even know where to begin. This long journey through the dark jungle of Nanton has been thrilling, magical, mysterious, dire, exciting... And so many more things. All the things I love in an adventure novel, with all the things I love in an epic fantasy, all rolled into one unique, fantastic journey, told with such a wonderful voice. You can tell the author, Jay Swanson, has spent time in the jungle. You really feel like you are deep within its dark canopy as you read this book. He does such an awesome job describing the characters' surroundings that you feel like you're right there with them. I loved how each section of story is a journal entry. It works so well. I was constantly left wanting to know what was coming next for the characters. I couldn't wait to read the next entry. Also, when you see for several days that there was no journal entry, you know that the next one is going to have an amazing story about what happened to prevent him from writing in his journal. I think the only other book I read where the story is told in epistolary format was Dracula, and it was awesome. This book takes it a step further, because before it was a novel, it was a whole bunch of blog posts, which were in real time as the character wrote them into his journal. Readers got to follow his journey as it was happening, in a sense. (laughs) How cool is that? Inside many of these posts are amazing illustrations made in a journal. The art is so good. The illustrations done by Nimit Malavia in this book will blow you away and really add to the story. They have such an amazing style that just draws you that much more into the story world. I can't say enough about how brilliant the artwork is. Also, The audio version of this story is amazing. That's how I read most of it, though I followed along in the blog so I wouldn't miss any of the awesome artwork. Dennis Kleinman is perfect for this book as the narrator. He has an amazing voice and a really cool accent. His voice pulls you into the Nanton immediately. It was so good. The characters in this book were so cool. They're all fleshed out brilliantly. They share tales of their homelands as they journey through the foreboding jungle, the Nanton. When they fight, it is so awesome. I found myself cheering often when a fight took place. They face so many vile creatures, both animals and men. The monsters were so cool in this book. They made the journey a frightening one. The characters are almost always about to die from any number of foul beasts. The places they visit in this book, I wouldn't set foot in for all the gold in the world. It was kind of like Wesley and Buttercup in The Princess Bride going through the fire swamp, except every place was far worse than the fire swamp, and once they finally escaped it, the next place had new terrifying dangers of its own that were just as bad. It was one amazing adventure. It was like one of my favorite classics, Tarzan of the Apes, but filled to the brim with some of the coolest magic and world-building I've ever read in a fantasy novel. 
It's jungle adventure and epic fantasy, and it's so good. You have to read this book. You'll love it. As soon as I finish writing this review, I'm going to start the next one in the series. I'm so glad I found out about Into the Nanton. It may just be my favorite read of 2016. Wow, all right. So I started working through all of my uh, older book reviews, and this one is from 2016. And like I said, as I record this, it's 2023 in October. Okay, so what's the deal? Why the five years of silence? Well, long story short, my family and I visited Guatemala right when my debut novel Haunted House Flipper was coming out, which eventually led to me changing careers from a 3D artist to becoming a pastor and now a missionary who lives in Guatemala. During that time, I did a pastoral internship at my local church in the U.S. I started seminary, which uh, I will finally finish this December. I became a pastor at our local church, and then we were sent as missionaries to Guatemala, where I now serve as a sort of associate pastor and music worship leader. All that to say, I have not had much extra time on my hands, neither to read fiction or to record my reviews of great books that I've read. So now I'm planning to start this podcast back up with regular book reviews being published. I have the next 10 episodes already planned out and another really fun project that I am super excited about. Probably we'll start that once we get to the 100th episode. So here's what it is. I found an amazing list of books to read before you die that a guy created by adding together multiple of those kinds of lists to make one amazing list with like ones that came up on several lists weighted to the top. So it's like the cream of the crop of all these amazing lists different people have made into one mega list of 100 books to read before you die. So once I get to 100 book reviews in this podcast, I plan to read through and start reviewing those books. I'm really excited about it. I think it'll be a really cool project. And hopefully it will give you a way to hear about books that you should read before you die. Also, a little housekeeping, I ditched all social media except Facebook. So if you want to connect with me, that's facebook.com slash Dan Dan the Art Man. But it's just my personal account. Probably the better thing to do is to leave a comment on the website, dandandtheartman.com. You could also always leave a review for this podcast in iTunes. Okay, until next time, which I'm hoping will be only a week from now, happy reading. This podcast is brought to you by dandandtheartman.com where you can find more book reviews, entries on Dan's writing journey, and links to purchase Dan's books like Haunted House Flipper or The Case of the Missing Snowman. Music by Dan Absalonson.